What is going on gamers? The Red Dragon here and we are checking out Max Payne 3. This is the game mode Gang Wars. Just one of the several different playlists available for Max Payne. Now the reason we are talking about Max Payne is because Max has a problem that just about every other game on the market has and Rockstar has come up with an interesting way of dealing with this issue. The issue is cheaters, boosters, hacks, whatever you want to call them. And you know that if you've been gaming for any amount of time, uh, I don't know anyone who looks at the leaderboards and actually pays attention to the top of the leaderboards, sees who's at the top and admires them or wants to be like them or whatever. Because the majority of people look at the top of the leaderboards and automatically assume that those people are there because they boosted or cheated or hacked their way up to the top. That's just the way it is because boosting and cheating has been so rampant for so long. Usually, if you look at the leaderboards, you're usually just comparing your stats to your friends or uh, to the, the global you know, population on that particular game. But you're usually not looking at the top of the list saying, hey, those guys are really skilled. Uh, which sucks for the people who are there who actually do deserve to be there. But what do you do? Uh, I, I mean, it happens in every game, and it's hard to deal with. And each each developer is dealing with it in their own particular way. And I will give credit where credit is due. Infinity Ward, for one, has been a developer who has went out there. Uh, so has Bungie. And they've went after cheaters hard, you know, banning them or, or resetting their stats, doing whatever it takes. And, and they stay on, on it constantly. And I know Infinity Ward is because I've seen... Tons and tons of episodes of Booster Busters where uh, a cheater will be called out. People will report that cheater, and, you know, a few days later, that person's gone. They're either banned, their stance reset, whatever. So these people are keeping an eye on it. But what if there was a cheater jail? A place where only cheaters go. Um, I'm not talking about a uh, policeman showing up at your front door arresting you if you, <laughs> you, you got extra XP when you weren't supposed to. Of course, that's silly. Uh, what I am talking about, though, is a new method that Rockstar has come up with, which is basically the same concept. Here's the way it works. If you are found to be cheating, hacking, boosting, whatever, manipulating the leaderboards, you are going to be quarantined from all other players in that game and you're going to be put into what they call a cheaters pool uh, servers set aside just for cheaters so what's going to happen is if you're caught cheating you're going to only then be able to play with other degenerates either cheats um, other hacks so it, that would almost be like a cheater's hell uh, to have to play with other people who you know are just like you uh, having to look in the mirror so I think this is a pretty cool concept and they do leave it open and they say you know if these cheaters if they go for a certain period of time where they're on good behavior or whatever it sounds like then eventually yes they can be let back onto the regular main servers but if you are caught cheating again whether it's on the cheating servers or back in the regular servers that's it you're gone uh, one strike that's all you get well I guess you get two strikes because one strike will just get you put in the pen and uh, two strikes you're out so that's the way Max Payne 3 is going to deal with cheaters what do you think about this what do you think about Having to put people aside, if you get reported, then you have to go into the, the kitty corner and you can't play with the rest of the people who play right. And can you imagine the guy who has friends playing on the game and he tells you, I can't join your party or I can't get into your game because I got caught cheating and I'm having to sit over here on this server back here. So I actually think it's a pretty cool concept, a cheater's jail or cheater's hell, however you want to... Uh, to put it, Max Payne, Rockstar, that's what they are implementing right now. So what do you guys think of the Cheater Jail? Post it down, comments below. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.